Today we're going to be taking a look at Thought Technologies Electroencephalograph Sensors, also known as EEG. There are two main types of EEG sensors for the ProCom system, the first being the FlexPro, and the second being the EEG-Z, which we'll focus on in this video. Now the only difference between the two is that the EEG-Z sensor has built-in impedance checking, which we'll cover later on. Now when you receive your EEG sensor in the mail, you'll receive a bag that looks like this. Inside of this bag, you'll find a few things, the first of which being a three-lead DIN extender. Next, we have a yellow gold cup electrode, which will be followed by the blue gold cup electrode, right here. After that, we have a yellow gold flat ear clip, which will then be followed by the black flat gold ear clip right here. Now lastly, what will be remaining is the actual EEG sensor itself. Now this sensor is comprised of two main components. The first of which being this, which is the sensor. And the second of which we have the barrel cable which will connect the EEG sensor to the encoder that you're using. Now that we've gone through and itemized everything, I'm just gonna move a couple of these things out of the way with for right now. Your next step is going to be to plug one end of the barrel cable into the bottom of the sensor. Now in order to do that, you're going to first locate the little white triangle on the end of the barrel cable and line it up with the notch at the bottom of the sensor. And once you do that, you're just going to click it into place like this, and you're all set. Now that you've attached the sensor to one end of the barrel cable, the next step is going to be to attach the other end of the barrel cable to the encoder that you're using. Now in order to do that, you're going to once again locate the same little white triangle, and you're going to line that up with the white mark above the corresponding channel that you'll be using. We're going to plug it into A, and it's gonna look like this. Now that the barrel cable is attaching the sensor to the encoder, what you're going to want to do next is locate the three lead DIN extender that I spoke of earlier, and plug that into the top of the sensor. Now you're gonna do that the same way you attach the barrel cable to the sensor and the encoder. Once again, locate the white triangle on the end of the barrel cable and line it up with the notch on the top of the sensor. And that goes in just like that. Now that we've attached the three lead DIN extender to the sensor, what is important to know is that blue will be positive, yellow, will be negative, and finally black will be reference. Now we're going to be able to begin attaching the electrodes, and we're gonna start with the positive lead. Now because the positive lead happens to be blue, I've just grabbed the blue cable electrode. You don't have to. And in order to do this, you're just going to take this DIN end of the electrode and plug it into the DIN lead like this. Now we can connect the negative lead. And once again, because it's yellow, I've just decided to grab the yellow ear clip. This is going to attach the same way that the positive electrode did, and it just pops into place like this. And lastly, we're going to be able to hook up the reference electrode. And that's gonna plug into the black DIN lead same way the other ones did, just like this. Now the electrode that's remaining is an extra, just so you have it. So we don't need to worry about this one right now, as long as you know that it's there if you do need it. Now that we have all of our electrodes attached to the sensor, 
you're ready to start hooking up the electrodes to your subject. And when you go to do that, just be aware that there is a clip right here that you can use to secure the sensor and the electrodes to a shirt collar or a tie or something of that nature. Other than that, you should be all hooked up and ready to start training.